Hey everybody, we're back with Academy Award winners Craig Barron and Ben Burt as we continue on with tonight's Friday Night Spotlight on A. Arnold Gillespie. Now technically, Gillespie's department doesn't do the sound. No, but the sound effects are always there to complete the illusions that Gillespie's department would start. They would do the visual effects, but there was the sound department which would do what was called then the audible effects. And it was recognized as part of the special effects process because sound was needed to create an earthquake or a flying spaceship or, in, in this case, the, the famous Tarzan yell. For years and years, decades, no one was quite sure where that sound came from other than a certainty that it was not Johnny Weissmuller just yelling. Right. Uh, but you've looked into it. You may be America's <laughs> foremost expert on the Tarzan yell, Ben. It's a, one of the most famous sound effects ever made, and, and there were boys in that generation for decades that they would all recognize this sound. I went about trying to analyze the sound, and uh, the first thing you notice when you, you get a copy and play with the sound, and I did once again uh, taping it off television when I was a kid, is this, the sound, it sounds exactly the same forwards and backwards. It's a, what's called a palindrome, which is a, a sound which is totally symmetrical, and that gives a clue to its origin. It means that they created a sound, and then they made a copy of it in reverse, and they spliced the two together. And so there's a picture of the sound here, and you can see that it's very symmetrical yeah. from beginning to end. There's a little drop out little line in the middle which is where the splice was in the old uh, so that film that also means that it would end as strongly as it started it would not peter out absolutely it had a, it was a, a good creative reason for this by having the sound start out strong and stay that way it ends up just as strong it's superhuman and that's of course part of the tarzan character and so i took all of these things and i pretended i was in the mgm sound department and i put it all together to make this surrogate version of, of the yell, and here it is. The trick to it was not only having the yell flipped upon itself so it was strong all the way through, but those notes in the center of it turned out to be a clarinet because no person singing could reach as high as those notes. But why not? You know, at the time, 1932, when they first made this uh, first Tarzan movie, the clarinet was, that was a hot instrument. It would be like the electric guitar is today. It was the jazz instrument of its time. And the music department was often called in to create sound effects for these films because it, it fell into their realm in the early 1930s. So it's very likely that it was a clarinet. Craig, are you persuaded? I think that's it. It sounds pretty close to me. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Coming up next, more from A. Arnold Gillespie. It's the Best Picture winner of 1935, starring Clark Gable and Charles Lawton. Tonight on TCM's Friday Night Spotlight, Charles Lawton can't keep a lid on the mutiny on the bounty. Then Dorothy Dandridge causes tension in the decks ran red. And Irene Dunn perseveres in the white cliffs of Dover. TCM brings